guys, in the last video, exercise number two, I told you that problem two and three are very related because <coughs> we, have the, we have the same mixture here <coughs> and we're solving for vapor quality. And actually, if I were a teacher that is a little bit more picky, I would tell you, please do not use the diagram value, but use calculations. So this is an alternative. You will have to find actually the saturation point on the liquid, the saturation point on the gas, and the actual value. So once you find out that, which I got here, here, and here, it's 20, uh, 220, which is here, 350, which is the data value, and 420, which is here. So probably you remember this beautiful equation. Uh, I don't know, wait, is it? volume but it should be enthalpy enthalpy total enthalpy of the mixture will be equal to that enthalpy of the fluid and that vapor quality which multiplies the difference on enthalpy of the fluid and the gas so let's do it mm, x value is total value will be 350 minus 220 of the liquid divided by that difference and i get 0.65 which is of course not the 0.68, which I randomly guessed between these two points, actually here and here, but it's pretty awesome. I told you guys that 0 0.68, 0 0.67 will make the task, and I think 3% is not that much, especially if you're talking about diagrams. Well, of course, it's a little bit more subjective on if you see it here or here, what number would you assign to that, but we're talking about engineering guys, probably this is just a design or basic uh, scope. If you are doing it for a living, probably you're not going to be ran 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 randomly guessing this. So this was exercise number three, please go and follow for exercise number four. <laughs>